Welcome to the YouTube channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. In this video, I want to go over my results from a new uh, admixture uh, calculator, um, an ancestry or DNA report that uh, is available via a website called mygenomebox.com. And as you can see, this is the homepage. And if you go to that site at www.mygenomebox.com, um, sign up, um, upload your raw DNA file from one of the major um, genetics testing companies such as Ancestry, uh, DNA, 23andMe, Family Tree DNA, MyHeritage, etc. And then after you update your raw DNA, click on Ancestry and it will take you to a page with um, some admixture calculators that you can run. Now, these are not free. Uh, they are going to cost you, and uh, what they do is they do it through a point system. So um, it's uh, let's see if you you can purchase points, and I don't know why they they do this, but and then they have mileage. So. Um, so. That, that's how you purchase the app. You can't purchase it like directly by just giving your credit card information. You need to purchase points through the website, uh, My Genome Box, and then you use those points that you've accumulated to purchase the app. And then you can run the admixture calculator through that app. So, um, you know, you're going to have to, you know, it's not. I, I don't. I don't really like it. Uh, I think it probably turn a lot of people off the way their system works because, uh, for example, this this app that I'm going to show you that I that's fairly new that I just got the ancestry report from. Um, it uh, it's like ten. It's like ten dollars and ninety nine cents, or ten you know ten point ninety nine points, uh, but you can only purchase um, the points. By, by 10, by 10 uh, points um, uh, at minimum. So uh, so you have to basically pay $20 to, for, uh, for a 10.99 app to run the app. So, you know, that's why I have 9.03 there are my points. So it's going to turn a lot of people off. A lot of people probably will not take this Ancestry uh, test because of that. And I don't blame them for, for not wanting to, but I, I was interested in seeing what the results were. And, uh, so let's, let's, um, let's take a look at, uh, gene to me ancestry. So, um, there it is, you know, 10.99 uh, points. So it says it's an ancestry analysis performed to find clues about your ethnicity and origin. We use genetic information of about 9,000 personal from various countries to find the country closest to your genetic makeup. We have 96 country information divided into six regions. We also provide detailed information, local information to interpret your ethnic distribution results. We support a variety of genetic information formats, including VCF and genotype type file. Take time to track your roots and see who your ancestors are. So that's uh, the, my raw DNA file from ancestor DNA that I uploaded. And you know, there's, Here's the report view, and here's one review. And <laughs> basically said, uh, "Well, here's a here's a new review. Actually, it said this test is highly accurate. Very interesting. Test results are on point." And then there's another one, more negative, saying what I basically what I said, making 
people have to pay 20 spend 20 dollars just to get the extra 0.99 points is absolutely ridiculous poor way to make mo extra money off of people and before i go to my results i just want to go uh, talk briefly about the company behind this test uh, this gene to me so this is their website gene to me i'm just going to scroll down here so they don't just uh you know they don't just do ancestry they they uh you know do other sort of like uh biometrics um that's their ancestry so this is a um gene to me is like sort of i guess i don't know subsidiary or um of of a company called eon Diagno diagnomics genome center and you can see the address there, 5795 Kearney Villa Road in San Diego, California, here in San Diego, which is where I am located right now. And so, yeah, they have, they do, you know, they, they, they have a location here in San Diego, but it is a Korean company from South Korea. So let's take a look at their, uh, at the company here, EDGC, Eon Dyna Diagnomics diagnomics genome center and let's just scroll down here it says uh, the fourth industrial revolution has already started edgc is at the center of the revolution beginning to disappear a border between industries as technologies converge so yeah you know they label themselves as doing genome research and development and it says it's a joint venture between eon E-O-N-E -E Laboratories and diagno Diagnomics. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see their headquarters there in Incheon, South Korea. And then their, uh, nor I guess their North American headquarters here in San Diego. So that's a little bit about the company behind this. And let's take a look at my results. Now remember, um, you know, I'm, according to ancestry dna i'm 100 percent european jewish or ashkenazi um you know um i i i've talked about this before but the recent upgrade that they did uh with ancestry dna in september of last year they added 13,000 reference populations and increased my percentage of ashkenazi or european jewish from 91 percent to 100 percent uh it verifies my uh, you know genealogy i have you know, two Ashkenazi Jewish parents. I have four Ashkenazi Jewish grandparents who came to America, the United States from Eastern and Central Europe. So, you know, what is, let's see what this one says. You know, I, I, sometimes you get varying results from different tests uh, from ancestry reports, and I've gone over some of them, but let's see what this one does, says about me, gene to me ancestry. So let's scroll down here. So I did the analysis uh, yesterday. It, it, it's fairly quickly. It takes less than an hour, at least for me to, uh, for them to, uh, analyze my my DNA and come out with this really nice uh, report. So um, let's see. It uh, it's it, it visually the report uh, re really really looks good. I really really like it. So uh, you definitely get they get an A plus for for visual content. And uh, let's see. So let's see, Ancestry Report. says the Ancestry Report provides insights into your ethnicity and where your ancestors lived. Take time to track your roots and see who your ancestors are. So it says Joshua Marks is 52.32% Middle Eastern and 47.09% Europe and 0.59% America. I, that's almost 100% sure that that's background noise. Maybe there was a possibly a very, very distant ancestor at least at least seven generations ago. Maybe that could have had some indigenous uh, blood. I doubt it. You know, anything at 1% or below is likely background noise. And if it, even if it's not background noise, it is so distant in your, in your past that it's so muddled and it's so hard to tell. I would, I would just completely discount uh, anything below 1%. So I do, I'm just going to discount that Native American. And uh, I just think it's, it's, it's so distant and it's probably mixed up with some of the, uh, other admixture that I have. So let's, and I'm not also going to include any, any other populations that are under 1%. So, um, 
So let's take a look at Middle East. Now the first thing I want to say about this is that as you can see, they place Ashkenazi Jewish in Europe, okay? Now, I'm, and you're gonna see when as I scroll down, even though they admit, they, uh, they concede in their uh, eth ethnicity description for Ashkenazi Jews that we are um, genetically similar to um, other Jews and to uh, non-Jewish populations in Europe and the Middle East. So if you took if you took if you took if you move the Ashkenazi Jewish from Europe to the Middle East, that would increase my Middle Eastern percentage to just under 70 percent. So let's say, you know, let's let's move that Ashkenazi Jewish from Europe to the Middle East. And that that would make that would make me a little just under 70 percent Mid Middle East. OK. Um, and then most of the rest, as you can see, um, Italian, Iberian. Uh, ETC are like kind of more minor populations percentages that they accumulated and a lot of that is, is Balkans so if you include Italian Iberian Balkan that most of most of my European is uh, Mediterranean from the Mediter is Mediterranean from Southern Europe um, so let's take a look at the uh, let, let's break it down a little bit okay so let's scroll down here there's a detailed ancestral geography so let's take a look at Middle East so 42.63 percent of that Middle East is Western Asian, West Asia. And so that includes the Levant. And my top population is from the Levant. It's uh, Lebanon at 12.95%, followed by Armenia at 12.87%, and then Turkey at 4.66%. 4, 4 and I'm going to go into the other, um, more some of the little more minor uh, percentages uh, as I scroll down. Okay, and then the secondary uh, area uh, in the Middle East is... 9.69 percent north northern african north african and arabian and my top population uh, again is from the levant as jo is jordan at 4.42 percent followed by morocco at 2.06 percent saudi arabia at 1.85 percent and i'll get into some of those uh more my mi uh minor uh popular percentages now let's keep scrolling down here to europe again Ashkenazi Jewish. Now they basically just say countries in Europe. 16.81% Ashkenazi Jewish. You know that's just inaccurate to to put to place us in, all over Europe, uh, given that uh, there's been me plenty of many ge modern genetic studies um, that show the share the shared ancestry of Ashkenazi Jews with other Jewish diaspora groups and also with other Middle Eastern populations. And so our origins were in the Levantine Middle East, and I think it's more accurate to place us in the Middle East rather than Europe. So, and then you have uh, Italian, Italy, 13.11%, followed by Iberian, Spain at 7.58%, and then again, the, the, the trace results from, uh, from America. And let's keep going down. And so they do, uh, he's like, I'm not going to go into all these explanations of the, of the regions, but um, I recommend, uh, you know, you can, you can find this on the, on the website. And you could do if you do your own report, they'll uh, provide you. But again, I really like it visually. It's really cool, and it doesn't take that much time at all to do these to do this test. So, I'm just gonna keep scrolling down here. Um, but I will show you. It's funny. It's like they put Ashkenazi Jewish in Europe, and yet they <laughs> they have a picture of the uh, of the Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. So, <laughs> that's kind of indicator that uh, you know we're Middle Eastern. Um, but they say that uh, I'm not going to read everything they say about Ashkenazi Jews, but at the last sentence, they, 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 they admit, you know, that we have your Middle Eastern ancestry. So they say Ashkenazi Jews share similar genetics with other Jews and also share similar genetics with other non-Jewish populations in Europe and the Middle East. So there you go. So they're, they're contradicting, they're, by placing Ashkenazi Jews in Europe, they're contradicting their own analysis, their own, uh, their own, uh, ethnic uh, descri description of this, of, of at the ethnicity of Ashkenazi Jews. So, you know, I think that needs to change. So let's keep scrolling down here and let's go into the detailed results and then I'll finish the video. So, and I, again, I'm, like I said, I, I mentioned some of these uh, bigger percentages and I'm going to go into some of the smaller ones. So again, Middle East, 52.32%, 42.63% was Western Asian. And again, I mentioned Lebanon, Armenia, Turkey, 
And then the next lower percentage is Cyprus at 3.62%, Iran at 3.12%, Georgia at 2.6%, Syria at 1.94%. As, and, Azerba and again, these are lo anything lower than 1% is probably background noise, Azerbaijan, 0.87%. And then you have the North, Northern African and Arabian at 9.69%. And I, I mentioned Jordan, the, the top population of 4.42%, followed by Morocco at 2.06%, Saudi Arabia at 1.85%, and then the smaller percentages under 1%, United Arab Emirates, Tunisia, and Egypt. And there's the Ashkenazi Jewish. Again, I just, it just baffles me why they keep putting Ashkenazi Jews in Europe, in Europe instead of the Middle East, which is really where we belong. And then you have Italian, again, which I mentioned, Italy at 13.11%, Iberian, which is all Spain, at 7.58%. And again, this is all part of the 47.09% Europe. Um, and then the Balkan, Balkan at 6.69%. And within the Balkan region, we have Greece at 2.05%. Romania at 1.23%, and then the lower percentage below 1%, which are Croatia, Moldova, Macedonia, Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Kosovo, and Bulgaria. And then you have 1.56% Western European, and almost all that is Netherlands at 1.14%, followed by, again, low, probably background noise, trace, very trace results of France and Germany. Sardinian, 1.34%, which is part of Italy, and then again, the trace results of the background, probably background noise in the American, Puerto Rico, 0.45%, uh, Colombia, 0.14%. So yeah, and then they have some, some questions that they answer about your ethnicity results. Um, so that is, you know, that is really it. So, um, you know, I, I think this is a really cool, oh, and then they go to the, the reference data sets. So they say, you know, the, the, um, the reference data set consists of approximately 9,000 people, including the Human Genome Diversity Project, public data from the HAPNAP, and 1,000 genomes projects, and many of our customers who have agreed to participate in the study. And so these are all the, these are the sample sizes they use. Here's um, Africa, America, East Asia, as you can see, obviously, it's a Korean company, so they have a lot, a lot of samples from uh, Japan and Korea. Um, Central South Asia. And there's Ashkenazi Jewish. It's uh, a lot from, uh, from Italy and Spain there. A lot from Sweden, as you can see, a thousand uh, from Sweden, samples from Sweden. So... There's Eastern Europe, and there's Western Asia, and look at all, wow, 1,047 samples from Iran, a whole lot there, and there's North Africa, Middle East, North Africa, and Arabian, seventy-one Jordan. Okay, and that's the video. So thanks for watching.